today I thought it'd be pretty cool if we could make some kind of handheld mount for my GoPro that I could take with me on exploration. Let me explain. So here's my GoPro, GoPro Black 7. I like to take this camera on all of my adventures, if that be going into caves, old long forgotten mine shafts, or abandoned buildings, wherever I go on an adventure on, this camera is often right in front of me filming, capturing it all. However, I've noticed two problems while using this camera filming on these escapades, and I'll be the first to admit they're both my fault. Problem number one is oftentimes when I'm in the dark exploring somewhere, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to where my fingers are placed. As a result, I can often accidentally cover up the microphone, which is super annoying, especially when something exciting happens. Instead of capturing everyone's honest, genuine reaction, we instead end up hearing from Charlie Brown's teacher of the demonic realm. And problem number two is I almost always use a flashlight with this camera so you can actually see when I'm filming. But when you're in an old abandoned mine shaft or building, it's super easy to get distracted on not getting hurt, and you end up pointing your camera in a different direction than your flashlight's pointed, making the footage unviewable. <laughs> So to solve both of these problems, simply enough, I'm going to try to build a handle for the camera that has a built-in high-powered flashlight that will hopefully fix everything. Now I fully realize a product like this is probably already being sold somewhere, but who cares, let's make our own. So first off, I got on my CAD software and started designing the housing or main frame of this handle. And after a decent amount of work and a few adjustments, I ended up with this. Now here is my Coast flashlight. It costs 15 bucks at Home Depot and it's close to 400 lumens. I absolutely love this thing. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart, which was very difficult to do, as you can tell by all the scratches. You can see it comes apart in several smaller pieces, and what I think I'm going to do is just cut off the tip of the main handle of the flashlight, and then assemble it all back together. No need to spend extra time and reinvent the wheel. I'm then going to solder on leads to the bulb of the flashlight, and then drown the whole assembly in hot glue so I know nothing can move or get pulled out. With that, I'm then going to take the frame we printed, the flashlight head we just worked on, a 2 AA battery holder, and a power switch, and begin to put everything together. I'll start by dropping the flashlight in place and soldering one of its leads to the power switch. I'll then solder one of the leads from the AA holder to the other lead of the power switch. Then of course solder the remaining flashlight lead and battery pack lead to each other. Now notice I did leave the battery holder plenty of wire to still be able to reach the bottom of the frame. I'm then going to try to pack all the wires in as tight as I can and then just like we did with the flashlight, hot glue them in place. With that we can now put the other half of the frame on, very carefully line them up, clamp them down, and then begin to super glue them together. Now here we have the door that I designed for the battery compartment. So what we're going to do is take a small nail, cut it down to the width of the handle, and then use it as a pin for the battery door, of course super gluing it in place. I'll then take one of these little threaded posts and insert that as a pin in the front to hold it up. Then lastly for the assembly, I'm going to glue this screw into this thumb grip I printed. Then super glue a nut into the right side of the assembly for it to bolt into. And with that, the assembly process is now complete. And so here we are with everything assembled. We have the button on the back near the thumb for the flashlight. We have the camera mount on top which can easily be pulled off. Or put back on. And the case still has more than enough room to open up to allow camera to go in or out. And then lastly, when the flashlight batteries need replacing, we just unscrew the screw, pull out the pin, and the battery door swings open, revealing the double A's. Well, everything looks good, but how's the same perform on the field? Let's go find out.
accomplishes pretty much everything I set out to accomplish and honestly, I'm quite pleased with it. Something I really like about this is you can easily keep it in your pocket. If you take off the camera, just put the camera in one pocket, the flashlight in the other, and you're good to go. Not only does this help keep your hands free, but also it's not so weird as walking down the street with a camera. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and label this as a success. I'm definitely planning on using this in the future. But hey, thank you so much for guys watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, please feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. But if you did it, please feel free to hit the thumbs down and send me a death threat. But Lord willing, I'll see you next time. Unless your threat turns out to be more than just a threat. Thanks for watching. And please feel free to subscribe.